Here's a look at the custom tube shock conversion and control arm setup. I copied this from the guy at the Mite website, the-mite.com, the -mite .com. and uh, basically the upper control arm now is just a control arm. It doesn't do any dampening. This takes the place of the rigid lever shock, which used to be right here, and uh, now it's sort of got this dual arm setup. It can still pivot on this trunnion bushing here, and uh, the wheel can still pivot freely there. The tube shock needed to be installed because there's no dampening anymore with this new arm. So we create a little shock tower up in the top, and it's just tacked in place right now. Uh, once that was tacked in place, we could get the alignment for this bottom post which we created just by welding a rod to uh, this plate that I drilled and attached to the lower control arm it's kind of like the system that Moss Motor sells just a little bit simpler hopefully that'll be enough uh, strength to do the work that it needs to do but uh, that's what it looks like now I just need to weld it in place and be done. See that? That's a wheel. That's a tire. Uh, before I welded up the shock tower, I should have tried to put the wheel on. Uh, because as soon as I did put the wheel and tire on, I realized that the place I had mounted the shock before did not fit. So that got cut out. You can see the old uh, weld line right there. I had to move it over quite a bit. Right now it's just tacked in place, but the wheel is all the way turned to the left. And you can see there's that gap there. And the wheel turns nice and free. Very smoothly, I might say, on the new bearings I just put in. So I think now the shock tower and lower mount are done. I hope. Well, <clears throat> that should do it. This is the finished modified custom suspension. And then the shock tower up here. Just is welded to the uh, there was kind of a double thick plate here that was on the sprite to begin with, so I only welded to that. I figured I wasn't going to get much structural integrity out of that inner fender well, so I attached it to existing rigidity. You can see there's the ill-fated weld that I had to cut out this morning and redo, but it's done! Now I just need to pop the spring in, and uh, I can put some wheels on this thing. Good night.